Happy Turkey Day! That's right, it's Thanksgiving up here in Canada. What are the differences and similarities between U.S. and Canadian Thanksgiving? I'm going to tell you right after this. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Kurt. Welcome back to I Don't Speak Canadian. Today is Canada's Thanksgiving, and uh, I am so thankful for you for tuning in and uh, for considering subscribing. And if you have subscribed already, I am so grateful. Um, let's talk about the main differences between Canadian Thanksgiving and the U.S. Thanksgiving. Let's start with origin, shall we? This fellow right here, his name is Martin Frobisher, old Marty Frobes. Uh, he is a European, or was a European, I doubt he's still alive, because he was back in like the 14, 1500s, traveling the earth on a boat, um, looking for new lands, and he found Newfoundland. Uh, that's up in Canada. That's up here. That's part of, that's a Canadian province. Um, not a very interesting name. Newfoundland, Newfoundland. What do you want to call this place that you just found? This new land that you just found, should we call it anything? It's new to you. How about Newfoundland? Newfoundland? Whatever. How are you going to pronounce it? That's what we're going to do. So they called it Newfoundland. Uh, he hung out with the natives and decided to give thanks for just making it through the journey. And let's be honest, of course you did, because they weren't traveling on luxury yachts or anything. These are all wooden ships with no computer navigation. Uh, they weren't sure where the heck they were going. Let's be honest, those maps... Maps were soggy, uh, and they uh, had no way of knowing where they were going. But they got to Newfoundland. They decided to give thanks. Martin Frobisher credited as the first Thanksgiving ever had. A sit-down meeting, enjoying the harvest, thanking everybody for, uh, for not killing each other on the trip. So that was the origin of Thanksgiving, at least in Canada. And is, from all my research, it's the first one ever. Second up on the differences between U.S. and Canadian Thanksgiving. The date! Today is October 8th. It's the second Monday in October, and that is when Canada has designated their Thanksgiving to be. In fact, the very uh, interesting thing I've learned about Canadians is they're flexible. They, uh, they're not too tied to traditions. They, they like changing things up as they, uh, they feel the need to be. So uh, they've seen Thanksgiving go to a lot of different dates. It used to be uh, late October, early November, kind of depended on the harvest. That was way back in the uh, early 1800s for a few hundred years, since Frobisher, I guess. But uh, they decided um, somewhere along the line to make it November 6th. That was going to be Thanksgiving. They said, hey, national holiday, November 6th, this is when we all do it. And they liked that for a while, until after the World Wars happened. Um, they decided to have a Remembrance Day to remember all the fallen soldiers uh, from the World Wars. And that was on November 11th, 11-11. Uh, and it tangled uh, the holiday schedule up a little bit with Thanksgiving, November 6th. It usually would happen uh, in the same week. And that's a lot of thanking and remembering for one week. So they said, let's move it back. In 1957, they said, let's move it to the second Monday in October. And that's when we'll do Thanksgiving. Are we good? Everybody good? Boom. So now it goes thanking, remembering, and then the big gift giving uh, in Christmas time. So that's another difference. The date. Here's another difference. Uh, they don't care about football that much up here. It's all about hockey. There is football because it's on a Monday and Monday Night Football is happening. So if you want football, there is access to it. But it's not a whole day eat your turkey and sit on your butt and watch uh, football games all day with the family drinking beers. There's definitely drinking, uh, but most likely they're, drink they're watching hockey or something like that. Here's another difference between Canadian Thanksgiving and the U.S. Thanksgiving. There's no Black Friday! No, of course not, because it happens on a Monday, so if anything, it would be a Black Tuesday, but they don't have that. They go back to work, so they can't go shopping. Their holiday is from the Saturday, the weekend, all through Monday, it's basically a three-day weekend, and then they're back to work. So they don't have any big uh, Black Friday sales. Their big commercial day is Boxing Day, which makes sense. It's after Christmas. 
Uh, so you have your holiday, you get all your gifts, and you go back and you, all the sales are out now. You did your shopping. The stores are like, hey, do some more shopping. All the stuff you already bought is cheaper now. So that's when everybody basically saves their money before they go and do everything on Boxing Day. So there's no mad craziness like there is in the U.S. with people fighting over Xboxes and Playstations and Cabbage Patch Kids. I don't know what you people are buying. But there is none of that up here in Canada. Not until Boxing Day. Uh, a big similarity between the U.S. and Canada? The food! Turkey, baby. It's turkey and gravy and stuffing and pumpkin pie. All those things are exactly the same. You know why? Because it's about the harvest. Uh, that's usually when the, the, not usually, that's when the original Thanksgiving was started was because the harvest came in and the natives would give thanks for the harvest and then they shared it with the pilgrims and, or Frobisher or whoever and they said this is when they have it. Now the harvest in Canada comes sooner so it also makes sense that it's in early October. It gets colder up here sooner so the harvest comes sooner and that's also why Canadian Thanksgiving is a little bit earlier. So we have the same sort of stuff and turkeys are big. That's what, through my research I found out, why do they eat turkeys? Basically because they're a big bird and they can feed large amounts of people, which comes to the other similarity about Thanksgiving. It's about family. U.S., Canada, we all want to get together with our families. We have the day off. Let's talk. Let's eat together. Let's drink. Let's have a merry old time. And, uh, and then let's get uncomfortable with some of the conversations and then realize, oh, we don't want to talk to each other anymore. And let's go home and then complain about the uncle that we don't like so much. Here's the other uh, similarity with Thanksgiving. Travel. Now, it's definitely not nearly as big of a thing here in Canada. They go back and forth maybe to a province or two or drive to people's houses. That kind of traveling is the same. Uh, there's not, it's not as big of a like hassle at the airport. Not nearly as bad as it is in the U.S. But there is some travel. Now, the difference is it's not as big of a deal. They'll say Happy Thanksgiving, and there'll be some, maybe some literature in the newspaper, or, uh, stuff on TV, Happy Thanksgiving. But it's not nearly as big of a deal. Maybe because they got Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Basically, people take off almost a whole week in the U.S. They're, they're off like midday Wednesday, and then they're like, I'm out, uh, all the way through Sunday. Here, it's uh, business as usual all the way through Friday, then it's Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and then we're back to work. So that's it. The differences and similarities between Canadian Thanksgiving and American Thanksgiving. Uh, I, I'm so thankful to you. That's what it's all about. Giving thanks. Thanks to you for watching and uh, telling everybody uh, about this show. I don't speak Canadian. I'm all about our travels. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up. Scott Thompson. I'm very thankful for him for being on the show. Kevin Alejandro. Uh, we got lots of different adventures. You go to my Instagram account. You can see all the pics of the places I eat, the places I travel to, all the touristy things I do. That's on my at I don't speak Canadian Instagram account. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Happy Thanksgiving, hosers.